This is the first time we're going to see Dan Campbell, Brad Holmes, and this Lions team with real expectations and to see how they handle it. Jared Goff, this is not the first time he's had expectations. He played in L.A., played in a big market, played for a team that was competing for a Super Bowl every year. So those expectations he's pretty much used to. But I'm looking at the younger guys, Sam. I'm looking at not even just the younger guys, but the inexperienced coaches, right, with Ben, uh, Dan, I mean, so on and so forth. AG, what he does this year with new players, especially the guys you're going to be able to add in the offseason. I have a lot of confidence in who they have on the coaching staff. But at the end of the day, expectations are ex expectations. Like last year, we talked, okay, they should win between seven and nine games. And for a while, it didn't look like they were going to hit any of those, that, that mark at all at one and six, but they turned it around. But when you're one and six, Sam, there's no pressure. No pressure. Like your season's over. So they're, they're playing with house money, and they even got all the way to the end and had a chance to, to make it into the playoffs if it wasn't for what Seattle did. So this year is going to be a big one, Sam Flannel, because – you got real expectations. Like, not only do you have higher, uh, you know, a higher expected win total, but you have real division odds going in your favor to win the NFC North. I'm curious to see how Dan gets these guys ready because it looked like after that Packers game, they could have went out and played right away. They were ready to play, but this is a new season, and like Uncle T always says, wins in momentum don't translate from season to season, which no. is true, but. The culture does, and, and and the work those guys put in does. It's going to be interesting to see how they handle those expectations, Sam. I hope that Lions fans, Lions players, and the Lions coaching staff, front office, all of that, can learn to embrace these expectations. Because you can't be underdogs forever. This is kind of the blessing, mostly the blessing, but also the blessing and the curse of being ahead of schedule on this rebuild. Nobody in a million years, I don't care how optimistic you are, saw the Lions after starting 1-6 going on a stretch to end the year eight and two. That was unbelievable. It was one of the most unbelievable turnarounds. We're talking going from tanking to playoff contenders, and now we're talking about division title contenders and maybe even winning a playoff game or two. I've even said that if you win the, your division, your, your expectation going into the playoffs should be Super Bowl. I'm not saying Super Bowl or bust, but you can make the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl if you're a division winner. You can't, you shouldn't treat it like you can't, like this is your stepping stone year. And that's the thing. At some point, you got to learn how to play with expectations. I'm not super worried about them per se, but at the same time, you're right. That whole run, that entire run, even after they had gotten better, after they went on that first three-game winning streak, lost to the Buffalo Bills, and then got to 500, it was still an element of house money. Because yeah. what they would have had to have done at the end of the year to make the playoffs was pretty much played perfect, played an expectation that was almost impossible. But they damn near almost did it. That's the crazy thing. And, and this year, you got it. Expectations. Embrace them. Don't 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 be scared. You're you're you are set up perfectly to win the division next year. Embrace it.